Welcome to the Van Life Roadmap, Barefoot Theory's free online course all about van life. Join me as I share everything I've learned over four years of living on the road so you can take off in a van you love and never look back. When you hit the road in the van, the world is literally your oyster. You've packed your favorite adventure gear in your rig, so now it's time to find the places to use it. In the last lesson, I mentioned my preference for paper atlases and maps. They allow you to see the bigger picture for your route and things to do nearby that maybe you wouldn't find using blogs, apps, and maps on your phone. Paper maps are a good place to start, especially for finding bodies of water to plan activities around or cool roads to go explore. There are also a few different apps that you may have already heard of that are great for finding things to do during your travels. For hiking, I love all trails and think the pro version is worth it. The reason, the pro version allows you to download trail guides to your phone for offline use. For mountain biking, my favorite resource for finding trails to ride is the MTB Project app. When you're on Wi-Fi, you can download the database for an entire state. Then when you're offline, you can easily find nearby trails to bike with info on difficulty, elevation profile, and current conditions. If you ride an e-bike, you'll also want to check out Trail Forks, which allows you to filter down to trails that are e-bike friendly. For finding restaurants and other local amenities, like places to get a haircut, for example, I use Yelp and Google reviews. For finding other things to do, I just turn to Google and type best outdoor activities near X. There is also a cool free app called Maplets, which offers free PDF maps of an area's local parks and attractions. And while their maps aren't always very high res or all that detailed, it's a good way to get a sense of what a local area has to offer. While apps and blogs are good and all, my favorite way is to get the info straight from a local's mouth. If we go out to eat, we will often sit at the bar so we can chat up the bartender and we'll ask what the best things to do are. By being friendly and having real life conversations, you might just find your way to a favorite local hot springs without ever having to look online. Visitor centers and ranger stations are also great places to talk to a real life person. You can get advice on what to do and where to go, as well as helpful recommendations on hiking trails and other activities in the area. 